Good morning. So I wanted to sit right near the baptismal font to talk about what I want to focus on for this morning. So before I do that, I want to remind you of what you've heard me say before, and that is that it is not insignificant that we have our baptismal font front and center, in the center of our worship space, always before us, always reminding us of the centrality and the importance of our baptism into Christ's death and resurrection, that it is through the baptismal waters of grace that we are claimed and named and known by God um, as children of, of God. And so it is um, important that we keep this in focus um, at the heart of who we are and what we are as God's people, and that uh, we not overlook that it is there uh, and not kind of look past it and not see how important it is. So this uh, weekend, we will be installing leaders of the congregation. And one of the things that we talk about as we install leaders in the congregation is we say that these folks have been elected to positions of leadership within the congregation. And we mention in baptism, we are welcomed into the body of Christ and sent to share in the mission of God. So it's a reminder to us that in the waters of baptism, we have all been baptized into that mission, into that sending um, in the waters of baptism. And so as leaders of the congregation, they are to remind us of that baptismal promise and that baptismal covenant that has been made and lead us in following that, lead us in doing that, lead us in helping that. But it's not just something where uh, the leaders um, uh, have the responsibility and we can kind of just you know sit back and think, well, somebody else will do it, the leaders will do it. Because this is what we say in response to them being elected as leaders and appointed as leaders and blessed as leaders during the service. People of God, I will say to you, I ask you, will you support these, your leaders? Will you share in the mutual ministry that Christ has given to all who are baptized? So it's a mutual thing that we share in, a mutual ministry that we share. The leaders lead, but we follow. The leaders remind us of the waters of baptism where we are claimed as brothers and sisters in Christ. So we follow Christ and we do the things that Christ would have us to do. But it is a ministry that we share with officers, with the leadership, with the members of the congregation. So let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for those who lead among us and those who are followers, because both are important and both are essential. We can't have uh, followers without leaders and vice versa. And so, Lord, in both areas of our life together, in our mutual ministry, we are called to remember our baptism, that those washing, those refreshing waters in which we are washed and claimed as, as your children. So bless us to live into the baptismal covenant in which we have been baptized and claimed and loved and forgiven and are known by you. It is in your son's precious and holy name we pray. Amen. God bless. I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.